Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to review group 8, I mean group 9, group 10, and group 11 of Miss Supernational 2019 Supra Chat. So there's three groups that we will be reviewing, it's going to be a lot of conversation so we will begin with group 9 and we again as usual and as a tradition, same with my previous reviews, we will only be focusing on the individual random questions because what I have said, it is the best way for us to determine who are really good in answering random questions. So for group 9, the ladies in this group are Brazil, Fernanda Souza, Dominican Republic, Elisa Burgos, Guatemala, Andrea Radford, Portugal, Carolina Lequito, Trinidad and Tobago, Gia Lauren Gomez, and Kenya, Emma Hosea, Brazil. She was asked if she could turn back time, is there something that she would like to change in her life? I love how she gave the answer no. She seems very confident about it and her personality is just amazing. She, I really like her response. And then again, it was her bubbly personality that elevated her performance. Trinidad and Tobago, she was asked what is confidence to her and what is her, her journey of being a confident woman. She gave a very detailed and great response as well. Her response is very long. And with long responses, there's a tendency that it could be a bit boring. So I wish she was able to level up her energy and personality more to give life to her responses as it continues. But it was a good co it was good content wise. Dominican Republic, she was asked about the biggest fear in her life and how did she overcome it. Content wise, her response is very strong and one good thing is that it is amazing. I mean the overall response was amazing and everything about her answer is Filled with so much confidence, conviction, and energy in the way she delivered it. And which is why I really, really love Dominican Republic way of answering content-wise and delivery-wise. Guatemala, she was asked who would she choose to crown in a beauty pageant? The smartest one or the most beautiful one? Actually, this question was from me, so I'm very excited about it. But let me just start by saying that Guatemala looked super stunning. She's also very confident with her choice of choosing the smart one. But I wish she gave a stronger defense to it because I wasn't really convinced that much. Portugal. She was asked about the best advice she gave to a struggling and frustrated female pageant aspirant. I like that she responded right away. Her answer is also very true and realistic, which I like. She definitely gave another beautiful answer. Kenya. I am not sure about Kenya, but overall in the entire interview, she seems like she's not enjoying being there. Just my impression. She was asked who she would like to have a conversation with, and she chose Michelle Obama and talked about women empowerment. I really like her answer very much, but then again, her personality bores me a little bit, and her entire energy is something that I don't like. So, I mean, looking at the entire conversation, she seems... I mean, she's, she, she seems like she's not enjoying it. So that really turns me off a little bit and I really feel bad about it. My top three for this group are third place Trinidad and Tobago, second place Portugal, and my winner is the Dominican Republic. Now let's proceed to group 10. The ladies in this group are Australia, Alexandra Wallace, Japan, Natsumi Takenaka, Lithuania, Jurate Sashunaite, Lao, Polat da Saidonekong, Romania, Alexander Stroh, South Africa, Leila Van Groening, and Thailand, Antonia Porcield, Lao. The question came from me again. The question is, which is more important in a beauty pageant, winning or the experience? She gave a very long answer, but I think she, mer she merely talked about everything. Thing that she can get from this pageant. She only talked about everything that she get from this pageant and I don't think she answered the question. Although I loved her bubbly personality, especially every time she makes some mistakes. South Africa. She was asked what is the most valuable lesson we can pass to the next generation. I love her response about teaching about optimism. I didn't like how she ended it though. It seems like we've been left hanging or something. Romania. She was asked about her definition of success. Again, another okay answer but I don't feel much impact about it. Thailand. She was asked if she could learn any skill in a day. 
what would it be and why? And wow, I am super impressed because I'm expecting a different answer. But her answer was very, very deep. And what's a good thing is that she was able to defend her answer very, very strongly. So that was a very smart move from Thailand. Japan, she was asked what's important to her. It was a very, very cute answer. I know she struggled a little bit with the language, but I understood what she meant. Australia. She was asked if she could inspire the youth to make a change. What would it be? Australia is just wow. Another impressive answer. I like how, I like how she gave a very relatable and timely response to that question. I mean, everyone can really relate to it because it happens every day, especially in this generation. So good job to her. Lithuania. She was asked if other people if other people's opinion matters more than her own opinion i liked how how direct she is which made me think that her thoughts about it really reflected what she believed in she seems very confident with her answer as well but based on the overall performance my top three for this group are third place south africa second place australia and my winner is Thailand, Antonia Porcield, and finally let's go to group 11. The ladies in this group are Cameroon, Angela Cosinda, Ecuador, Fernanda Yepes, Equatorial Guinea, Alba Isabel Obama, France, Sharina van der Koylen, Haiti, Schneidin Mondesir, and Venezuela, Gabriela de la Cruz, Equatorial Guinea. She was asked what's improved from her life from last year to this year. Her answer was very personal. It was her growth because of beauty pageant. So it was just okay to me. Nothing really wow in that answer. Cameroon. She was asked when, when can she say that she is successful. If she is living up to her answer, then I would be very impressed. I am satisfied that she did not only focus on herself but on a bigger scale, which is her community. Haiti, she was asked what's something she can easily access that can improve her mood and how did it improve her life. Her answer was simple yet relatable to everybody. It isn't strong, but then again, I don't consider her answer strong. I, I, I just like how genuine she is when she delivered her, when she delivered her answer. Friends, she was asked what would she tell herself in her lazy days when she's about to skip her work out and how does she motivate herself? I truly enjoyed her response to be honest. I'm not really a huge fan of France this year, but that entertained me a lot. She made me happy watching her response. Another okay answer, but I'm glad she shared that she is like every one of us in our lazy days as well. So I kind of relate to everything that she mentioned. Venezuela. She was asked if she thinks that women empowerment has gone too far and why. Impressive. I love that she started that women have struggled a lot in the earlier days, which of course is true. So that's a great start. I think she gave a direct and strong answer. I know it is a little bit short, but I think it was enough and satisfying for me. And finally, Ecuador, she was asked what quality in herself is she most proud of and how will she apply it if she wins? I like how commanding her presence is. Aside from that, her answer was also good. Honestly, I did not expect her to do well, but I am glad she did much, much better and she actually exceeded my expectations so much. So, my top three favorites for this group are... Third place, France. Second place, Venezuela. And my winner is Ecuador. So what do you think? Who are your favorites from group 9, 10, and 11 of Super Chat of Mr. Supernational 2019? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. So for now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.